the only dating advice you will ever need as a man. Are you tired of sifting through countless dating advice videos that promise quick fix and magic solutions? Look no further. In this groundbreaking video, we unveil the ultimate dating advice every man needs to know. From building confidence to understanding the art of communication, join us on this transformative journey to becoming the best version of yourself in the dating world. Say goodbye to uncertainty or doubts and say hello to a future full with love, connection, and fulfillment. What is now? Okay, welcome back. My name is Priscilla. If today is your first time of watching my face or watching my video, please, you are the right place. I keep saying it on this channel, our aim is to help you to become the best version of yourself, attracting positive people that value you for who you are, especially the men. Don't waste any more time with try and error. This is ultimate dating advice that will change your love life forever. Hit that like button, subscribe, and get ready for a dating revolution. The first thing you need to do is to be yourself. Authenticity attracts authenticity. When you embrace your true self, you attract an individual who appreciates and resonates with the real you. Pretending to be someone you are not might help you score few dates, but these connections are often shallow and short-lived. True compatibility emerges when both parties are comfortable being themselves. Be genuine and you will naturally draw those who appreciate your uniqueness. Consistency is part of women. So as a man, don't pretend to be rich. Don't pretend to be buying her expensive gifts. Don't pretend to go and borrow money to buy her expensive things. Once you started doing those things, remember you are going to continue. If you are trying to win her heart by spending money on her, money that you don't have, you have to borrow money to express your feelings to her. You have to go and borrow a car to make her feel like you are rich or maybe you have it. Once you don't have it, be your authentic self. Be yourself. If you are trying to impress this particular girl, remember you will continue to be lying or you will end up being in debt. Prioritize your uniqueness. Don't go and pretend to be someone you are not. Please don't do that. Let them love you for who you are. Okay? If you pretend to be someone you are not, you will end up wrongly. Unless you don't love her that you want to spend the rest of your life with her. Maybe she's a girl you don't see future with, but you just want to have one round with her. You want to just have sex with her. Fine, you can go by that. But if it is something you are looking for, genuine connection, long-term goals, please be yourself. The next thing is know yourself. After being yourself, make sure you know yourself. Know where you are coming from. Know the kind of person you are. Know the home you are coming from. Take the time to explore your passions, interests, and values. Make sure you follow your goals. Understand your strength and weakness and embrace them. By cultivating self-awareness, you develop a solid foundation that allows you to present your true self to a potential partner. It is important you take care of yourself. To be successful in the dating world, it is vital to take care of yourself physically and mentally. Self-care isn't just about looking good, it is about feeling good, exercise, eat well, get enough sleep, and manage stress. When you feel good about yourself, it naturally reflects in your interaction with others. So it is good you are confident in yourself. The next thing is boundaries and red flags. Embracing your authenticity also means having a clear boundaries and recognizing red flags when they appear. Being true to yourself allows you to identify situations or individuals that don't align with your values, saving you from potential heartache and disappointment. One thing you need to know is never ignore the red flags in a relationship. If you start seeing certain things that are not aligned with your values, or maybe you see them as fuzzy, or maybe you don't want them in a relationship, before you start looking for someone that you want to spend the rest of your life with, you have your list. Maybe you want certain characteristics from the person. You want the person to exhibit some behaviors. So for instance, let's just say you are marking a person over 100. 
So if you can manage it in act of hundred, that's something you can go in for. But if you can manage 20 and you can't manage 80, that is a lot. You shouldn't force yourself in loving such a person. Once you know the ones you can manage are less than the ones you can manage. The next thing is healthy communication. Effective communication is essential in any relationship. Authenticity foster honesty, openness, allowing to express your feelings, needs, and desires without fear of judgment. This page the way for a healthy dialogue and problem solving, ensuring that conflicts are handled constructively. As a man, be clear and honest in your communication. If you are interested in someone, express your feelings, but also be open to their response. If you are not feeling a connection, be honest but kind in your rejection. Honesty, even when it is difficult, is a cornerstone of a healthy relationship or dating. The next thing you need to know is to be patient. Finding the right person takes time, and dating can sometimes be a series of trial and error. Don't rush into a relationship or settle for someone who doesn't align with your goals or values. Be patient and allow a connection to develop naturally. The right person is worth the wait. Don't be afraid of being alone. Don't rush anyone into loving you or don't rush any relationship. Someone who does not align with your values and goals. Don't settle for less. Don't end up with someone you have no feelings for. Someone you have nothing for. Let's say maybe the person is pregnant for you, so because of the pregnancy, you want to end up with the person. Go within yourself. If you have feeling for this person, if she is the one you want to spend the rest of your life with, maybe you want to have one night start with the person and the person got pregnant. So because the person is pregnant, you rush into marrying the person or you rush into dating the person. Marriage is for better for less. Nothing like pension. You are not going to cut 60 years before you go for pension in marriage. You'll be in need until you die. The death do as I fight. So my brother, make sure you check yourself. Go within yourself. If this is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with, don't let pregnancy or anything makes you change your mind and marry someone which you don't have feelings for. Okay? Another thing you should also know is confidence, not arrogance. Confidence is an attractive quality, but there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. True confidence is about being comfortable with your own skin, knowing your worth, and not feeling the need to prove yourself. If you are confident in yourself, you need no one's validation. No one has the right to ask you to prove yourself. You know what you are doing. You are confident in everything you do. You need no one's validation to be happy. You see yourself as a high personality to feel good in yourself. You need no one's validation. You don't have any explanation to give anyone if you are confident in yourself. Arrogance, on the other hand, can be a major turn-off. It is crucial to find that balance between being assured and being humble. The next thing I think you should also know is respect and empathy. The foundation of a successful dating is built upon respect and empathy. Treat your date with kindness and consideration. Listen to what they have to say. Show interest in their thoughts and feelings. And beware of their boundaries. Respect goes a long way in building trust and connection. It is essential to remember that dating is a two-way street. And both parties should feel valued and heard. The next thing is less stress, more fun. Dating is supposed to be an enjoyable experience, not a chore, not a burden, not a task, not a job. When you are authentic, you will remove the pressure to constantly perform or impress. This liberating mindset should transform a dating into a fun exploration of shared interest and compatibility rather than a stressful quest for approval. In the end, the only dating advice you will ever need is to be yourself. Confidence is a magnetic and it cultivates when you embrace your authenticity. When you love and accept yourself for who you are, it radiates outward, making you more attractive to potential partners. So remember to be yourself, be respectful, be patient, be confident, and prioritize open communication. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave your thoughtful comments in the comment section. 
whatever you think, your point of view, they are all necessary. Thank you all for your support so far. For my old time subscribers, you know how we do it. Thank you so much for your support. And for the new ones that have just joined, or if you haven't joined yet, please make sure you join our community, okay? Thank you so much. God bless you for doing that. So I'll see you in my next video. Stay blessed. Keep on praying for your love life, okay? Keep on praying for your dating journey. With God, everything is possible. Stay blessed. Love you.